Hey everyone, in my last video I mentioned using a buck converter to step down the voltage for these 24 volt fans to make them a little bit quieter. So in this video I want to go over what a buck converter is, how to use it, what I plan to achieve by undervolting these fans, and some of the benefits to undervolting. So stick around. So for starters, a buck converter is a DC to DC power converter which steps down voltage from its input to its output. These are also known as step-down converters, which is a little bit more self-explanatory. So these converters are perfect for a situation like this, where we have a higher voltage and we want to bring it down to a lower voltage. So let's look a little further into the different pieces of this buck converter and how to wire it up. So over here on the top left, we have our input terminals for our negative and positive coming from the battery. And then down here on the bottom left, we have a potentiometer for voltage adjustment and this is going to be a constant voltage so whatever you set this to on the output side it will maintain that voltage regardless of what happens on the input side so long as this input side is higher than the output so we have a few capacitors here a couple of heat sinks with MOSFETs and this bottom right side we have the positive and negative output terminals and we also have terminals here for a fan for cooling if you were to try and run a higher amperage on this uh, passively they say this is rated for 8 amps continuous um, and it can be more if you include a fan and actually cool these heat sinks down. so let's look at this potentiometer adjustment and see what kind of voltage readings we get as we turn this so right now the battery pack voltage is at 26.9 volts and you can see here even though I have this maxed out it will only go to 26.6 volts so there's always a slight voltage drop through this converter. Let's go ahead and turn this counterclockwise and see what kind of result we get. All right. So you can see that the voltage is beginning to drop and as you turn this it's just going to keep going down so we can set this to whatever we want it to. For the first test, I'm going to start at 24 volts and see what kind of sound this fan produces and then drop it down from there and see if we can reduce that, that noise as well as keep the fan starting because once you drop the voltage to a certain point, the fan will no longer start, so we need to make sure we stay above that threshold. So let's go ahead and keep it at 24.3 and see how loud these fans are. Alright, so you can see here that I have my negative and my positive wired into the buck converter on this side, uh, and then my outputs are coming down over here, and then I wired in a switch just to make it easier to turn the fan on and off, and then these run into the original connector that I saved from when I re redid the wiring. So let's go ahead and hit this switch and see what kind of sound we get. So I watched David Paz on, here on YouTube and he said that these things sound like a jet engine taken off and he was not lying. These things are loud. Alright, so now let's try using the buck converter to drop the voltage down to somewhere in the 12 to 13 volt range and see if we can reduce that sound. Alright, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Way quieter. Yeah, so that reduced that noise a lot. Let's go ahead and see, once this fan stops, if it'll start back up again with this lower voltage setting. Alright, so it looks like that's going to work out perfectly. So this is going to do exactly what I was hoping it would do. 
Uh, and let's go over some of these benefits now. I'll give you some more details about this buck converter. So the first and most obvious benefit to undervolting these fans is the noise reduction, and that was my main goal with this. Um, but there's also some other benefits. So I use less power because I'm not trying to spin the fan as fast. And it also moves less air, which on its face seems like it wouldn't be a good thing. But if you look inside here, you can see all of these aluminum fins. And it's the same on the bottom as it is on the top. So this whole top piece here is aluminum. So it's a giant heat sink. And these modules were rated for 5,000 watts continuous discharge and 2,500 watts charging and I'm not going to be doing anywhere near that with my setup especially having four of them that would be 20,000 watts discharge so I'm not expecting to be generating the kind of heat these things were designed for so more than likely I'm not going to need the fan at all but I do plan on installing a thermostat on top of this aluminum in the future and if I hit a certain temperature on this aluminum these fans are going to kick on and they're going to kick on at that 12 volts and from there if it's not enough I'll turn it up if I need to but ideally I would like to keep it around that 12 volt mark but this is set up so that I can use the battery's power to power each individual fan at a lower voltage because I can power all four fans from this one buck converter all right, and some more details about these buck converters. Uh, this particular one is rated for 8 amps with passive cooling. Uh, if you include a fan, you can crank that up a little bit more. Uh, these are 5 to 40 volts input and 1.2 to 36 volts on the output. Uh, they're about 12 bucks on Amazon, and they're a really great way to reduce an output voltage. They're inexpensive. There's other ones that are 3 amp rated and they're you can get a six pack of them for like 10 bucks so they're super cheap great way to do this and uh, highly recommend them so yeah that was my video on how to undervolt a fan and why i wanted to do it uh, thank you all for watching hit the like button if you found this video informative definitely comment if you have any questions suggestions or feedback and i'll see you on the next one